me and uh, hi Cedric. Hey. Oh, now I know a name. Um, first thing we're gonna start with is the new chapter 22, which goes could I, could I, could I, Ludasai, which is dark, dark. Isn't shut that up. Chapter one. Chapter one has those exact same lines in it, so they're doing a homage to that. Second page is a little bit different, though. Um, Cookie, can you read the first line for me? Yes. Um, I can hear you. Am I doing the first bubble? Okay. Hi, hi, hi. Um, nanka mae ni mo, um, I think that is nita yona, kaiwa shita yona. I think that means, um, what? Uh, need to be similar. Yeah, so I think they're saying what's in front of us is also similar to our conversation. That is theoretically possible. Um, in this case, my is referring to time. Nanka mai ni mo, as in in the past as well. That we had the oh, same yeah, conversation. Enough. Which is what you also did notice. You said the same thing as this character cookie. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Um, next line is going to be Cedric, I think. The name. Um, so, do I just read yes, the bubble? Yes, you just read the bubble. Hi. Um, so you ka ano toki no jōtai to nitteru shi na. Um, so, to you ka, I don't really know how to translate to you ka. So it's basically like this um, jō jōtai this. And I know what it. Means that mm -hmm. I can't translate it. Yeah, Toyuka is kind the of like. Is off of yes, the game. it's kind of like speaking of that. Uh, that is the same. Oh, yeah. Hi, Niteru is down there, with To being the target of Jotai. So this situation is similar as well, for that time. So the first sentence oh, yeah. is, I feel like we've had the same, a very similar conversation before in the past. And the other character says, speaking of that, I'm pretty sure we've been in the same situation as well yeah. as in they're in a kurai location and anthony next bubble will be for you okay um asoko yori has asoko yori wa zuibun akarui kedo ne asoko yori azui azui it's uh, I don't know what. Uh, Wahir uh, is okay, the uh, uh, topic uh, marker. It is a weird use of wa, though. I, I see that. Where that be? Akarui. Um, over there. Um, it's really bright, but. Good guess. So yori. Is the opposite of hoga. Hoga is what we what we say in English. We tend to use hoga the being more than. So asako ho no hoga would mean that place is more bright. But yori is the opposite. Okay. It's saying this current situation, which is the topic dropped from the sentence, is more bright than last time. Or last time, the place over there is less bright than um, this place idea. So yori is less than. So asoko, which is still referring to the, okay. is being used to refer to past event. Um, do you know what zuibun means? Very extremely. Hi hi hi. Yep. So she's saying, well, this place is more bright than the last place. Next bubble is going to go to Cedric. Um, is that Denhi? Dento. Denhi ga tsukuteru, but Dento ga tsukuteru shi. The light is on and such. What does that mean? Sorry, I my headphones is off in case you already <laughs> fell off. Um, <laughs> the 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 light is on and such. Hi hi hi! We have some electric light on. Perfect. Such and such is a fun way to translate sheet. Um. Next bubble is for. Um, I think it, but, oh, the next two bubbles will go to Cookie. Okay. Um, yeah, it says. Nanika unoiteru yona. Um, 
think that is Otto no Surukara. Hi. So, should I do the second bubble or, sh or can I just translate the first one? You first? can translate the first one. They are the same sentence, but they're. Different enough that you don't necessarily need both, but if you get be a little bit confused, yeah. you could continue. Fair enough. Okay, so. I think it's something. I think the first bubble has to do with something. Um, something to do with something moving, um, and it's making a sound. Basically, yeah. So the main thing of the sentence is. Otomosuru or otogasuru, meaning a sound is being made, which is then has a na adjective yeah. yo added on top of it to let us know that they don't know for sure this formation, but it seems like the sound they're hearing might be being caused by something moving. So Yeah, that's right. And what does this kara mean? Because um, Yes. And next bubble for your cookie. Yeah, so because of that um, then we have Oko no Setsubi wa Nada. Um, oh, Ikiteru no Kamushire Nai na. Um, I think they're trying to say something like, um, they think the equipment or the stuff in this facility is like still alive, perhaps. Yes. That is exactly what it says. It's funny that you're guessing it, but you see it right. Yep. Kamoshirenai is perhaps. Ikiteru is to be living. So perhaps living. Mata is still. Setsubi is a facility rather than really being equipment, but it can kind of be used for equipment. They're just kind of referring to the building they're in. So this facility that yeah. we're in is might be still alive. So the reason why she said this is that, well, the lights are on. See that she, for exampling and kara. So, lights are on, and since we can hear a sound of something moving, this faculty is probably open. I mean, alive. Ikiteru! It's still alive. It's alive. Cedric, next uh, bubble for you. Um, which, which one? Um, it's going to be the second bubble on the next page. It's hard because my thing can be slow depending on how far apart we live. Um. Um, what do you mean by it's living? Perfect. And yeah. Anthony, next bubble will be for you. Just the one bubble. Okay. Uh, I'm just waiting for it to load. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, yeah, what I said was that the um, it's saying, yeah. Uh, context, the last character just asked, what does living mean? Because the previous character said that the facility is alive. Ah. Uh, it's it's saying something about like um, no um what she got it done. I said uh, the machine functions. I, I know how I know the meaning of how the or I know the meaning of machine. Good how guess. the machine functions. That's a good guess. That is not what it's uh, saying. Sadly, so it says what does she got it done? Uh, the thing that I said. So you translated that right, but you didn't fit it with the rest of the sentence. Okay. You kind of threw that in the garbage and did like a new thing. But this is one sentence. The thing that I said <laughs> was that there is, as in she's translating what ikteru means, is that the meaning of that word is that the machine is functioning. Right? So rather than saying it's alive, it's not like it's breathing like a human being alive. You're just saying the facility is working. It's open. It's still in use, uh. in other words. Um, next bubble is for um, Cookie. Yep, so... Um, でめたいとして生きてるかどうかってことじゃ。うん。うん。Um, 
I think they're ask I think they're kind of questioning how is um ugh, how is a life form like this doing its living thing, whatever Good it is. Good guess. So this is the first time we've seen Kadoka. It's really yeah. It is actually kind of rare, and like I haven't seen it in a while. Um, but this is the embedded question doka, which shows up when the sentence that goes in front of it, like as in the ikteru, is not in negative form and does mm. not have a question word in it. So it says whether or not living. So she's saying, as far as mm. we're talking about living creatures, whether or not it's living, it's not really about that. So she's continuing the same conversation. So the first thing is like, oh, the facility is alive. What do you mean by alive? Oh, I mean mm. that the machine is working. That's, that's what I meant. Um, but it's not really about whether or not it, the facility is a living creature or not. Um, mm. so she's just kind of showing the use of that metaphor going on and continuing that. Another character goes, which is her pondering on what the friend said. And Cedric, I'm going to have you do the next two bubbles. They are different sentences, but it's the characters talking to each other. So I do the next one as well? Oh, no, no. Cedric. I don't know if I said cookie. Oh, okay. I meant um, Cedric. The, the next two. Hi, hi, hi. Um, ja, se me taite nani. Uh, so what are living things uh, and then she says semetai te no wa ikimono no koto dakedo uh, so living things are living things dakedo <laughs> yeah. it's kind of funny because they're using different words in english <laughs> life forms nanbaro yeah. what could they be um, i'm getting some pictures which is going to be hard on Cookie and anthony because they get really delayed same Living. Chi-chan. Shizukani. So one character says Chi-chan, the other one says be quiet. Because, um. Can't really. Oh, there's a, there's a robot <laughs> that's moving across the screen that is very big. Um. Ne, saki no nanto yu. Nandato mo. Sorry. The thing we saw just a second ago, what do you think it is? Nanka, it's something. Nanka dekaiyatsu. It's quite the big guy. And, um, Anthony, the next two bubbles on this panel will go to you once you can see it. Okay, um, goi, goika, goika, it's popular, goika, goika. Goi, goi ga nasa sugiru na. Nasa sugiru na. Uh, it's saying, um, don't look down on my vocabulary. Ar, arete ikimono na no kana? Um, is that, are those, um, living things? Hi. So this, that was a really mm. fun way to translate that, but sadly that was not really right. Um, she's ah. not really ordering here, but it does have a negative kind of feeling here. So she's saying your your vocabulary is too small. Because <laughs> ah. she describes it as just, that guy was big, and this is the other character responding to that. You can tell that there's not like an extra bubble here showing that the character on the screen is talking. So since there's no arrow pointy part of it we know that the black hair character is talking so she's retorting to the question so like your vocabulary is too tiny what do you mean that it's just a big guy don't you have anything else better to say uh. no it can't be a living creature probably no matter how you look at it it is a machine and the next bubble is going to go to, um, so, Shadrick, I hope you guys can't hear my dog whining. <laughs> um, wait, so, yeah, Cedric, yes. Cedric. Um, somosomo kikai wa isogashi? Good guess. It's actually iki, which is breath. 
Oh yeah, okay. Some some more kikai wa iki mo shinai shi. I I forgot it. I ishiki mo nai. Yeah, okay. Um, so the machine doesn't breathe, and um, it doesn't have um, like how do you tr translate ishiki? Like um. Do consciousness. It doesn't think or something. So 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 it doesn't have sentience. Oh, all right, quick! I hit it. My click these buttons. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, my screen is back. Um, when you can see it, Cookie, next bubble is for you. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Let's touch it. Ah, not everything. No, Kore to yeah, is yo. Um. I think that's Kike wa. Kikai. Uh, Kike wa. No, sorry, Kikai wa. Um. Ah, uh, I forgot what that was. Uh, Ugota, Ugoku. Oh, is it Kateni? I could. Yeah, Kateni, uh, Ungoite. No, Ungoitari. Ah. Uh, Angaitari. Inai. So just letting well, you know, there have... is a period here. So we have two sentences and one bubble. That's why there's a weird little space right there. So isho da yo. That's oh, the that's end a of full one stop. sentence. Stop. Okay. Hi. Um. Uh, I think it's something to do with um. We are. We're riding this together, you know, and then Good it's guess. Like the machine. But let's pause. Let's pause and think about it for a second. Hmm. So we have kore noteru watashi watashi ga noteru kore. We have a relative clause here going on. That means this watashi ga noteru is all describing kore. What could we, this kore oh. possibly be referring to? Perhaps Obviously related. the vehicle. So the vehicle. Yeah. And they've been talking about the big thing that just walked across the screen that was hard for you to see, which was like a robot construction um, thing that we've seen on previous chapters in this book. So, kore to isho da yo. What do you think it means then with that new context? Mm. So it's like this thing that we're riding together. Hi, 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 hi. This thing um, that we're riding together and... What do you think is uh, similar to the thing they're writing? What's our topic of this lesson? Mm. It's the robot they saw not that long ago. So it's saying the uh, robot is not alive and neither is the vehicle they're on. Um, Fair enough, okay. yeah. And then what's the next part? So, there, so basically our context here is that we're talking about the difference between robots and living creatures and you just have to remember that with all, all the lines we're reading because they're having a conversation. We're not saying random sentences with no context. Everything has context, which is the benefit of reading a manga. <laughs> yep. Uh, what was kate again? Kateni means that um, you do something of your own volition without caring about what the heck other people think. Um, here it's not being used negatively, but normally it is. It's related to the ishiki word in this context. I think um, the second sentence is saying, um, "Hmm, I, I it's something like I don't think machines, at their own volition, move." Basically, that's a good guess. You got confused with what tari means. Yeah. Tari is not a quotation particle. So to can be used for quoting things and o can be used for generalizing of topics of what you're quoting, like the what someone's thinking about could use o. Uh, a ni could kind of be used, I believe, for the emotion behind a thought. Tari is not used mm. in that way. Tari is a lot like to and ya, except for to and ya are for listing nouns, Tari is for listing verbs. So this is and. So moving and thinking, kikai wa shinai. What do you think that means? Yeah. 
so the machines can't at their own volition move or think perfect and our next do those things our next bubble is going to go to cedric um でも、さっきのやつは一人で歩いてんだ気がするけど um, But I have a feeling that that guy earlier was walking on his own Perfect! And Anthony, next, last bubble on this page? Uh, um, um, well, Anthony, oh, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, it's, Is it for me? Yes, yes, Anthony, hi Okay, um, Dareka ga... Um, something like um saying who who, or who may it be that is operating this who was it that was operating these things do you know that dare and uh, dareka have slightly different meanings do you remember that some someone is Hi. operating this. Maybe someone is operating this. Perfect. It, With the kamo serenai meaning maybe. Hi. And Cookie, do you remember what this okay. she is doing here? I just want to check if you remember that grammar point. That was one that. Um, it's to like me. something to do with um, providing a reason Perfect. for what was explained earlier. Hi. Or it could be in the oh. explained in the next sentence. Just. It will be. Yeah. It could be in either direction. So perfect. Um, next bubble is going to be going to Cedric. It's actually going to be two bubbles. I believe this is one sentence. Considering it ends in te. Um. Ja sa moshi kikai ga hitori de kochi mukatte aruite kite konnichiwa de satsue shitara dou suru. Um. So what if that machine? Came walking towards us and said hello, like that. Hi, 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 Satsu. Perfect, perfect. So no kikai nai There's no, there's no machine like that. And the next bubble is going to go to Anthony. Okay. Um. So no kikai nai Oh, next bubble. Uh, somo somo. It was an earlier vocabulary word. Let alone say nothing that's bigger. So, Somo Somo Kikai Dokoroka is saying, let alone talking about um, machines. So, she's like, this is our topic about machines. He's saying like, I don't, that those aren't even like on the block. <laughs> That's not how that like, it's not even like on uh, the okay. starting line, the Kikais. So in the first place, those kings, we're, we're not even talking about them. On Chikyu, it's so we're kind of like throwing the machine thing off into the garbage. We're talking about a different kind of ikimono that does sonzai suru. Which is, what uh, ikimono do you know? Which uh, living creature lives on Earth right now? Uh, in the book. Ningen humans. Hi, 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 hi. Do any other living okay. creatures are alive? Um, none. Hi, hi, hi. So let's try, uh, do you want uh, Iwareteru means? Iwareteru is, uh, what? to say. So, or, iu is to say, but it's in deru form, which is also called passive form. So, this means the one saying is not the person talking. So, to be told. 
So I've been told something. So uh-huh. what has she been told? That's what this uh, tet is doing down here. Doing the, uh-huh. quotate, the quotation of what's been told. Hey. Hey. It's hard. <laughs> okay, you're good. Um, let's see where I split this up. Okay, I'm going to split that. What does ikimono wa sonzai shinai mean? Ikimono wa sonzai shinai. Uh, there's no living things. No, no living things that exist. Hi. What if I add chikyu ni wa to that? Chikyu ni wa ikimono wa sonzai shinai. Yeah. There's no living things on Earth. Hi. And while just making this Earth's into true. the new topic marker, it's not actually adding anything new to this sentence. Uh, if someone's like, wait, I thought Niwa was a grammar point. That is a different Niwa. There's a lot of grammar that looks the same, and you can tell by uh, what goes in front of it. There's a noun in front of it. It's probably not the Niwa grammar point. Uh, anyway, so that's this topic wa. Do we have mo ningen igai? Do you know what ningen igai means? Ningen igai is like other than yes. humans. Perfect. So I think you can now flow it all together. Chikyu ni wa mo ningen igai ikimono wa sonzai shinai. I've been told that、um, there's no living things that exist. On Earth, other than humans. Perfect. Yep. So, little alone machines, only humans exist.、Uh, oh, it's 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 oh. Machines. There's something here. Ikiteru. It's alive. Chichan sakana. It is a fish. Konnichiwa. And on the picture, there's a robot. As like, just like、uh, what Yu chan was mentioning. And it looks like that is where we're going to stop for the day.